Following numerous user requests, Twitter has finally announced the addition of an edit button to the social media platform. Twitter has confirmed a new feature to edit tweets amidst a high-profile court case over its future ownership and several other controversies. First, it will begin with internal testing, and the plan is to make the edit tweet functionality available to Twitter Blue subscribers. So users will be able to edit their posts for 30 minutes after they have been published using the edit button. However, there have been reports that scammers may use this feature to their advantage. We all know that scammers use social media sites like Twitter to entice people by promoting fake giveaways or sharing phishing links that can steal people's personal information, or even drain their cryptocurrency hot wallet. According to Twitter, the ability to edit tweets is their most requested feature to date. Editing tweets will provide users with a grace period of approximately 30 minutes after publication to refine their posts, fixing typos and other minor errors like missed tags. The proposal may also have some significant drawbacks. Concerns have been raised that adding an edit tweet button to the site could increase the prevalence of scam bait content. For the time being, the feature is unavailable to the general public, but industry experts are already speculating on how such a feature could be abused. Twitter for one appears eager to ally any such concern before they arise. Twitter stated on their blog that as with any new feature, they are testing the edit tweet with a smaller group to help incorporate feedback, while identifying and resolving potential issues, like how people may misuse the feature. Well, it is impossible to be too careful. When Elon Musk announced his takeover bid for Twitter in April, one of the features he teased was an edit tweet button. Musk had changed his mind about the deal and reversed his $44 billion bid. Musk claimed that Twitter lied about the number of bots and fake users on its platform, but Twitter denied this. The two parties appear to be heading to court soon to square off. For the time being, it appears that Twitter has no plans to create an edit takeover button for tech billionaires experiencing buyer's remorse. However, I believe that many people underestimate the abuse potential of an edit button. A massive cryptocurrency scam was supported by automated editing of posts on a verified Facebook page to create a legitimate-looking brokerage. Twitter's abuse state diagram will be massive, because the people who want an editing button the most are a subset of people who believe trust and safety are easy and that the problem would be solved if tech workers were just smarter. Twitter's general manager of consumer and revenue products stated that the company was well aware of the possibility of bad actors abusing the feature, stating that users will be able to edit their tweets for up to 30 minutes after posting them. There is, however, a catch. Within this time frame, users can only edit their tweet five times. While this appears to be sufficient for correcting typos, uploading media files or adding some tags, the company may have installed it to prevent people from abusing the feature by changing the content of the tweet at the moment. Twitter also stated that it is monitoring user behavior and that the number of edits available to users within the approved time frame may change. The edit tweet feature will be available first to users who pay for the optional Twitter Blue subscription, but it will not be available to all paid users at first. Twitter confirmed that the feature will first be available to New Zealand-based subscribers and will then be rolled out to Twitter Blue users in Australia, Canada, and the United States as it learns more about usage patterns. As a result, subscribers in these three countries may have to wait a little longer and use the service without the marquee feature. Following the company's announcement of its plans for the edit button, experts speculated that the tool could also be used to spread political misinformation or crypto scams. However, those instances will only become apparent once a large number of people begin to use the feature regularly. Although you'll agree with me that it's too early to tell whether the feature will become a threat or simply a way for people to fix their stupid typos. Twitter, on the other hand, has come under fire in recent months for how it has handled its security practices, spam account catching methods, and child sexual abuse material detection. The last thing Facebook wants is for one of its most anticipated features to cause havoc. However, not everyone wants the button, and a backlash has already begun on the internet. The majority of the criticism focuses on the possibility of the edit button spreading fake news and misinformation on the platform. Yes, an edit button on Twitter could spread misinformation, but so can other platforms like Facebook, where you can already edit an existing post. True, almost every other popular social media platform has long allowed users to edit their posts. The difference is that Twitter posts can and frequently do go viral, circulating their way around the web. 
According to a research study in 2021, 7 out of 10 US Twitter users get their news from the site. So to many experts, the potential misuse of an edit button on a viral news tweet is an extremely dangerous concept. Because for the past year, social media platforms have been troubled by fake news. This information was identified as a critical factor in the 2016 presidential election, the Brexit referendum, and the storming of Capitol Hill. Someone can simply tweet, I had a secret wedding and it will go viral. They come in 15 to 20 minutes later and change that to a crypto scam or phishing link or voting disinformation. Musk along with several other celebrities were victims of a massive crypto scam in 2020 in which their accounts were hacked and used to promote a crypto scam. Because of how quickly tweets can move markets and spread, this is even more dangerous on Twitter. However, to prevent misuse, the button will have some limitations. Because tweets will be able to be edited a few times in 30 minutes following their publication and edited tweets will appear with an icon, timestamp and label, readers will be able to tell the original tweet has been modified. According to the company, this will aid in protecting the integrity of the conversation and creating a publicly accessible record of what was said. However, some people continue to believe that these restrictions will prevent scammers from tweeting fake news and then editing it after the damage has been done. And as previously stated, the edit button will first be available to Twitter Blue subscribers in New Zealand before being expanded to Australia, Canada, and the United States. As a result, it is currently unclear when or if the rest of Twitter subscribers will be able to use the long-awaited button. What are your thoughts on this new feature? Do you believe it will result in more crypto scams and misinformation? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well.